Hi guys, it's March 1st, 2010. This is an update video of my 10 gallon reef tank. I know I haven't made one in in, a, in quite a while. I've been pretty busy. Um, but I want to share with you some things that I've done to the tank that's different. Um, some ideas and just tell some of you, give you some answers to the questions that I've been getting a lot. Um, as you can see, in this corner of the tank, I got rid of that big rock of the star polyps. Um, I kept the main mother colony, that rock. Um, if you remember, there was a bunch of um, star polyps crawling up the glass um, on this side, a lot of them. So I traded them in for some live rock, uh, which that's a new live rock, and that's new live rock. And I don't mind at all because uh, the star polyps, I mean, every, everybody's got them. Um, as you can see, the di the digitata is it's just growing pretty good. It's it's growing like every day. You can see a difference. Um, same with the uh, staghorn. The staghorn's slowing a little bit because just today, and I got new PS, I got new light uh, lamps, the fluorescent tubes for my uh, light hood, um, because uh, these are the light hoods. These are the lamps right here to go in them. Um, and uh, they last about six to eight months. Um, but the th problem with me, mine, was I ordered them last summer. I ordered, I, I was not smart, and I ordered four lights, two actinics and two daylights. So I'm like, well, then I got a year's supply. And what happened is when I changed them out uh, near fall, my uh, daylight would either flicker like it would stay on for a few minutes and go off and it would do that throughout the day or it, most of the time it just stayed completely off and uh, it was over the 60 day period of me to return anything so uh, they wouldn't honor that so I, I spent all the money on two lights that don't work so just w word of wisdom uh, don't don't buy extra lights um, if, if you intend to not put it to use right away because uh, I won't do that again because now I'm out of money. Um, another thing I'd like to share with you guys too is I, ever since I've kept this, well, ever since I put this t aquarium up, I've kept a log about it, um, just in a uh, notebook. Um, and the tank is three years old this month. I probably mid month. Yeah, just I don't know, but it, it's it's three year, three years old this month. Um, so I'm happy with the new the new lights. They seem to be working fine, and I know my corals needed it. Um, my uh, candy cane has been doing really really awesome. Uh, it's dividing. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's splitting. Uh, where is it? There he is. This head is splitting, and uh, I've haven't had the the. I've had to use old lights for a while now, so uh, for like a week or two, and everything is not the happiest about me doing that, but I had to because it was something. Um, my zoos again, where are they in the camera? There they are. For some reason, my zoos, again, I'm having troubles with keeping zoanthids alive. I don't know why, they're just shriveling up and dying. Maybe it's the lights, but the new ones, like I said, they're in today. Maybe there'll be a difference in the tank. Um, those guys are starting to multiply more. Um, another thing that I bought that I've been wanting to do for a while, my wife and I have been wanting to do for a while, is uh, I've been wanting to try the food cyclopes, um, and I bought some. Uh, I had to order this offline on Foster and Smith, um, just because I've, I've read so much about it and I wanted to try it for myself because I hear people say uh, it works. I hear m much more great things about it then I hear uh, bad things about it. So I'm just like, what the heck, I'll, I'll just try it myself. Um, so I'm going to start this today. The only downside is, I just took the top off, and this thing came off, and look at how much is in there. I don't, I don't know if that's normal, but that's, I mean, that's a lot of wasted space. It's kind of stupid. I hope it's not a used one. I doubt it. I mean, um, but this is not an everyday uh, food for the fish. Um, any of you that heard of Cyclopes, it's supposed to make them more orange or just bring out the colors more in your fish. And uh, I did a lot of research online on it, and there's no videos on YouTube about Cyclopes. So here, I'm going to start it today and document the, the color of the fish. Um, I also feed my fish um, 
every other day they get uh, prime reef flakes, which is really good. See, for me, when I look at when I pick up my food, oh, I still got the price in there. When I pick up the food for my fish, I look at the uh, nutrition, the protein, the fats. Um, every other day they get frozen uh, raw squid or rods foods or some other kind of shrimp that I've gotten. It's like 69% protein. Um, but they, they don't care for that one too, too much. But they'll eat it when they're hungry enough. And once in a while, I'll feed them this. Um, the female only eats this stuff, the, the small granules. The male doesn't. I, he might be too small for it. But uh, I've had this for a while, and uh, I just, my clowns don't care for the granules. I know it says Cyclopes granules, but I, I, if I remember right, uh, it's not pure Cyclopes. And this is 100% uh, pure Cyclopes. There's no fillers, there's no other thing. Um, and like I said, the female's the only one that'll eat the, uh, the granules. Uh, the male just can't mouth them or whatever. He just doesn't care for it. Um, and this too, this uh, Prime Reef Foods, uh, this is good stuff. It's like, uh, what is it? The protein, uh, if you look down here, I mean, that's pretty high. I mean, lots of foods, if you look at them, they don't have high proteins. And the fat, that's pretty good. I mean, I've seen a lot of flake foods for uh, marine and freshwater fish that are just, I don't know, it's just calories, I guess. So that's what I do, and I recommend you guys doing that too. With a look, at, look at what you're feeding your fish. Don't just give them cardboard. Um, so, kind of excited. I'm pretty excited to try this out, see what happens. Um, so, I'll keep um, probably more videos updated on that. Because as you can see, my fish aren't dull. But uh, I don't want to just make them more colorful. I, I'm, I'm concerned about their health, like I said. What I'm feeding them. What's their nutrition. Uh, just to stay as healthy as they can be, you know. So I will try that out. And we will see how else the uh, tank reacts to it. Because a lot of times, most of the time when I feed my fish... I like to give them only enough where they can eat it and then it's gone. I don't like food floating around the tank. I hate that, but it does happen. And a lot of the times, uh, these um, polyps, they catch the foods and they eat them. So that doesn't bug me. They seem to like it. Sometimes I feed them every once in a while. So thanks for watching. That big old starfish. Well, it's not big, but... So, um, and I'm looking forward again to buying another uh, disc coral like I've mentioned in the past, so hopefully I can find a really, really, really stunning specimen. So, thanks for watching, guys.